On rare occasions, we get to witness moments of sheer genius. This is not one of those moments. <laughs> Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts. Push the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. Let's join Bev Try Thinking and Brian Leakey as they try to unravel the mysteries of the surface area of a sphere. No more square, right? Yeah, no, just four circles. Yeah, just four circles, so not square. In other words, yeah, you, you can't can, draw you, a square yeah, you, on, a, glow, you on can. a sphere. Brian, you can. You can draw it on a circle, like you've just said. But the said. math doesn't equate. But the surface area of a sphere is four pi r squared, just four right, circles. Right, but it's not length times width, yeah, is it? Yeah, four circles. Two dimensions, yes. you don't need to double the square. But you could, you just have four I'll give circles. you pi, bro. I'll give you pi. But I'm not going to let you double the square if it doesn't work on a, on a, uh, Two dimensional surface, length it times is width. It's a two dimensional surface. It's a, pi a circle. A circle. Yes. And just four. Oh, so them. now a sphere. A, whoa. I think I need to back off. What'd you just say? It's just four circles. Four. Okay. So, so the surface squared. of a sphere. So the surface of a sphere is two dimensional. Is that what you're saying? The calculation. Right. This is why I said to you, Brian, it would be very good if you were able to work through the reason the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. A circle, a circle is I pi r squared. That. A circle. I said, is it? Hmm. He's not listening. No, 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 no I'm yeah. listening. I'm asking him, is the yeah, surface yeah, yeah. of a sphere two dimensions? I, no, no, just listen. Stop talking. Listen. I get his point. I need to clarify so I know I, where to go next. If because he sounds to me, I could be wrong. Like he's I'm arguing right, that the surface right. of a sphere I'm is right. two dimensional. That's all I'm no, saying. No, yeah, okay, the surface no, of a Brian, sphere is three dimensional, Brian. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, we got a problem. All right. We got some people that think the surface of a sphere is three dimensional. When by definition, a surface is a plane or curved two dimensional locus of points, such as the boundary of a three dimensional region. Plane surface, surface of a sphere. By definition, guys, get over it. But your logical argument won't get you anywhere because the surface area of a sphere is calculated as four circles. Yeah, that's pretty close. The surface area of a sphere is equivalent to the area of four circles that have the same radius as the sphere. Keep going. Which are 2D. Uh, no, it's four yeah, yeah, squared yeah. circles, bro. Brian, what in the hell is a squared circle? No, it's four Jeez. circles. The area two, of the two, circle. Two circles square. Brian. Two circles square, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. Can I ask? Yeah, if you really don't get this from, if you Brian, say four pi, oh, my you're gosh. saying two B, right? Shut up, Brian. Shut up, Brian. Go ahead. Bro. I just want to ask one simple, quick question to Bev. Why four circles? It's four pi. No, stop, please, Brian. I asked Bev, why did they choose fours that would calculate the surface area of the square or of, a, of the sphere? sphere? I don't. Well, in order for you to be able to calculate using pi. Um, you have to have pi as a two-dimensional thing. The question was, why did they choose four to calculate the surface area of a sphere? The answer given was, 
you have to have pi as a two-dimensional thing. No, just no. Pi doesn't have any dimensions, Bev. And this is the kind of answer you give when you don't know the answer. So let's see if we can answer the question. Why is the surface area of a sphere equal to the surface area of four circles with the same radius as that of the sphere? That's really what the guy wants to know. There's a sphere. Now let's enclose that sphere with a cylinder that's the same diameter and height as the sphere, like that. So we have a cylinder that has the same radius as the sphere, and it has a height, which is two times the radius of the sphere. The area of the side of the cylinder is the same as the surface area of the sphere, and I'll show you why in a second. The area is the circumference of the cylinder, or 2 pi r, times the height of the cylinder, 2 r, and that's 4 pi r squared. That's the formula you were talking about. Now, how do we know that's true? Well, we can prove it geometrically. Let me show you how. Let's take the side of that cylinder, just the side of it, not the top or the bottom, and make it flat like this. And now we have a rectangle, which is 2 pi r in width and 2 r in height. And now let's break that area up into a lot of little tiny squares, like that little red one I've put there. And let's project that area onto the surface of the sphere. Now I'll draw a couple of lines out here so you can see what's happening. And obviously, as we go away from the center line of the sphere, the distance across the surface is going to be greater than the height of that square on the cylinder sidewall. But at the same time, the distance to the sphere is decreasing by exactly the same percentage. So you have an increase in height, but an equivalent decrease in width. And all of those areas end up being exactly the same. Now, I won't go into the detailed proof of that, but you can easily do it. The real question is, why is that equal to the area of four circles with the same radius? That's simple. Let's take our same rectangle representing the side of that cylinder, 2 pi r in width and 2 r in height, and divide it up into four triangles like that red one. Each triangle has an area of one half its base times its height. The area is therefore one half times the base, 2 pi r, times the height, which is r, and that is pi r squared, and that is the area of a circle with a radius r. Now that's the actual answer to the question you were being asked, and pi doesn't have any dimensions, Bev. Right! That's the whole point! So 4 pi r is 2 pi d, right? 2d squared. In other words, you're squaring it twice. So uh, 4 pi r is 4 right. pi radius, which is no, 4 pi, right. which is 2, dot, two pi no, d. Right. What are you talking about, dude? No. What's no about that? 4 pi r ain't 2, two pi d? Oh, wow. No, oh, wow. Brian, you. Brian, it's just four circles. Or... It's two circles squared, not just 2D. 4R four, four is, is, 4 radius is two diameters, right? No. 4 way. radius is, I, oh my God. I, if I, I can't get you the logic, Brian, I need to Brian, stop Brian, it there. Brian, please. The area oh, of a see. circle is pi R squared. Or, no, yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, what would you, how would you express 4 of those circles i would say either four pi r squared or or because i doubled it or i could say two pi d or i could say two pi d diameter so the diameter is twice the radius right so they're slick right so they try and cut the radius in half to try and keep it two dimensions but another way to say it is two pi d no, squared Brian, you just claimed 4 pi r squared is the same thing 
is 2 pi d squared. d is equal to 2r, Brian. When you square 2r, you get 4r squared. 2 pi times 4r squared is not 4 pi r squared. It's 8 pi r squared. You're doing the math wrong, Brian. No. Wow. Okay, if you don't get that, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> the hits just keep on coming, don't they? That's all, folks.